about Philippa and David Seligman and the Seligman Award, which has generously supported the Welsh National Youth Opera for the past 10 years. When I met Philippa and David for the first time, it was in a room just above Bar One here in the Millennium Centre. And as a company member of the 2009 Youth Opera, we'd all been gathered together to find out who had won the Seligman Award that year. The awards are given to WNO Youth Opera company members, singers, instrumentalists and stage managers who demonstrate outstanding commitments and professionalism throughout production rehearsals and performances. There are a few recipients here this evening, you've met Rhiannon and Lauren, and you'll also meet Katie Trahan uh, and Adam Butler as well this evening. When I was lucky enough and privileged enough to win the award in 2009, I was introduced to two people I'd never met before, and that was Philippa and David. I was touched by how interested they were in my experiences with the youth opera and how genuinely interested and easy it was to talk to them about my time with the company and my career plans for the future. It was obvious that they were both genuinely interested in the work of the Welsh National Youth Opera and of the young people involved in the arts in Wales. The Seligman Award has helped me in many ways, not least by giving me the confidence to pursue a career in opera. But primarily, it helped me by enabling me to undertake a period of work experience with the then dramaturg, Simon Rees. Now, before I'd actually joined as a company member of the Welsh National Youth Opera, I'd never seen an opera. I'd only gotten involved because they were doing Sweeney Todd, and I quite liked the musical. So I was blown over by the standard that the WNO achieved with its productions, and I wanted to know more. I then spent time with Simon, saw what it was like to rehearse on the main stage, and because of my time there, I was able to secure the position of assistant director in 2011 for The Sleeper. And then, since then, I've been working with companies such as Buxton Opera Festival, Wexford Festival Opera, English Touring Opera, and Mid Wales Opera. And this can all be traced back to the Seligman Award itself. This evening, we remember Philippa. For the scale of not only her generosity, but also the exciting and successful life that she led. Philippa's dedication to her career meant that she became an internationally renowned psychotherapist and received not only an honorary doctorate from the University of Glamorgan in recognition of her outstanding contribution to the field of systemic family therapy, but also she was awarded an honorary fellowship by the United Kingdom Council of Psychotherapy in praise of her pioneering work addressing the strains and tensions which can attack the modern family. There was no end to Philippa's enthusiasm for her work and her important contributions to the field have certainly received the recognition they deserve. In 2010, Philippa and David were awarded the prestigious Prince of Wales Medal for Arts Philanthropy for their long-time support of the arts in Wales. And it is due to their ongoing support that we are all here this evening celebrating young talent in the Welsh National Youth Opera. Finally, myself and Paula Scott had a wonderful discussion with David a few weeks ago where he shared with us a simple fact about why he and Philippa had been so generous to the youth opera for so many years. He said, we have attended performances everywhere, from the United States to all over Europe, but the greatest pleasure we got was from the youth opera. This is a truly humbling statement, and in recognition of Philippa and David's support for the Welsh National Opera, and especially their support for the Welsh National Youth Opera, we are dedicating this showcase performance to Philippa Seligman.
so okay, chilling so far. Everybody's here, chilling here in the dark. Outside, it's bright. I'm ready for the sun. It's four, the three, the two, the one, and glory to the highest. My name is uh, Rhiannon Pritchett and I'm a pianist and I've been involved with the Welsh National Youth Opera for about seven years now. In 2007 I was in invo involved in the orchestra for the Rakes Progress and in 2008 was extremely fortunate to be a student repetiteur on uh, the commissioned opera The Calling of May Today by Brian Irvine. In the same year, I was very uh, privileged and honoured to receive the Seligman Award. Um, and during my time in the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama, this award helped uh, me in, in funding things like music, uh, travelling to auditions and lessons and coaching sessions. And it was absolutely invaluable. And for this, I will be eternally grateful. Um, and I know we will be hearing uh, from other uh, recipients of the award as the night continues. And I know that we all feel um, the same, and we would like to thank the Sallygons for all their. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Lauren Morris, and I'm a 23 year old soprano from the West Midlands. I was lucky enough to meet David and his late wife, Philippa Seligman, um, where they awarded me the Seligman Award for my work um, within the opera. Um, and I also must say that even from a very, very brief correspondence, um, I could tell that Philippa was a wonderful and kind and genuine, genuine and very generous woman. And I'd just like to say a very big thank you to you tonight. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know what the blackbird sang or what the roses said, but it wasn't in the chicken run or underneath the bed. for vocal performance in that and I'm just so grateful for the support since from the Seligmans since um since that performance in 
2008. I can, it just um, it gave me confidence. And also, um, it, kind of a, it was just a wonderful thing to have. Though it was always clear that this was never meant to be, if you happen to David and Philippa uh, Seligman. Um, Philippa uh, was somebody that uh, we always held in great affection because one of the things about philanthropy, philanthropy isn't just about writing checks. Uh, really, the best philanthropy comes actually from people with knowledge, with understanding, with engagement, and with real empathy. And those were things that uh, Philippa had in, in huge, in a great abundance. Uh, and uh, I always knew in uh, uh, meeting with Philippa, um, there was always that uh, um, <coughs> twinkle in Philippa's eye um, and a real sense of empathy and deep humanity uh, that we all appreciated here. So uh, thank you to her, uh, thank you to you, uh, uh, David, for everything that you've done for your generosity and for your constancy, I think, uh, over the years. We do appreciate it uh, hugely. Uh, I would like to ask David to uh, um, say a word because um, he is somebody who has made uh, a huge difference, I think, to the cultural life of this city uh, and of this company. And it's a great pleasure to welcome you here tonight. Well, thank you, Garrett, and thank you also, David, for all the work that you've done. And I have my thanks to uh, all the talented performers that we've seen here entertaining us this evening, and yet we have a few to come. Um, Garrett, uh, David said something earlier about something I'd said to him when we met a couple of weeks ago um, about why do we support the way we do uh, Welsh National Opera and other. Uh, youth um, artistic endeavours. And I can only say that um, what I said to him then reverberates in my mind that Philip and I were fortunate in being able to attend performances and prestigious opera houses and theatres all over the world. But none of those performances gave us as much excitement and enjoyment as we got from performances of Welsh National Opera. Um, when I think of the period from 2006, I think it was when Candide was performed, and through all the other performances of Welsh National Opera that we attended, um, followed by The Sleeper, Wreck's Progress, um, The Call of the Lazy Day, um, Paul Bunyan, I don't know if I've forgotten anything, I probably have. And they were all wonderful performances. We used to go home and talk about them in a way we never did about the performances of Welsh Hash Opera, other opera uh, companies that we attended. Um, I, know, I don't know what it was, the spark, the excitement, the energy that the young people put into those performances that were so wonderful. And what I'd like Paul, my son, to do is to read something um, of an excerpt of a speech. Music, and in particular orchestral and vocal music, was set together our brains and our souls have been nourished by the best performances and challenged by the less than perfect, not of course that WNO is ever in the latter category, <laughs> but even performances which have not appealed greatly for one reason or another have rarely left us regretting attending. If the joy of simply listening to music and opera in particular can be so life enhancing, it is hard for us non-musicians to imagine the exquisite joy of producing that music and performing it for an audience. But we can't ignore the sheer slog of hard work involved. The training and dedication necessary to convert a useful talent into a world-class career within a world-class company, company such as WNO is enormous. There will be hard times when exhaustion and frustration will make life as a singer seem too tough to bear, and there will be singers whose careers may never mature simply through lack of opportunity and financial support. 
One of the good things in life is to be able to reciprocate in some way when one has derived pleasure and enjoyment from, some, from someone's actions. In supporting Welsh National Youth Opera, we hope that talented, young talented singers who have the good fortune to be accepted into WNO's youth programme will benefit. It is our hope that these young singers will continue to draw from all ethnic groups and that Welsh Opera will make significant strides towards broadening the white middle class base which has been the main influence in classical music. Our reward is the feeling that here is a way for us to repay in part the delights that we have had and will continue to have from this particular form of musical performance and it truly gives us much pleasure to have supported WNYO. of a speech that Philippa gave after the performance of Candide in 2006. And what she said then is what I would like to repeat again today. So thank you all very much indeed for coming this evening. And please attend performances of WNO Youth Opera as well as WNO The Big Opera. <laughs> um, and I want to say one thing more. Um, firstly, to thank everybody who's involved with the production, of course, and support what Karen said. Um, but none of this would have happened unless I had been approached by somebody who's here this evening, Lucy Stout. Lucy interested me in youth opera, and that's why you're all here tonight, because of Lucy's approach to me in 2006. So thank you, Lucy. Thanks for coming this evening. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> Gentlemen, Welsh National Youth Opera is proud to present the amazing adventure of Carrie the Lava. to send Gary to...
that in your previous experience, you were a farm llama. <laughs> okay, well tell me, why did you become a farm llama? <laughs> Gary had never thought of working in a factory. It was a busy place. No, loads of loud noises and lots Gary of machinery. Was If it wasn't for the WNOU Fopper and the Seligmans, I probably wouldn't be here right now or studying at the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. The Welsh National Youth Opera is such a great opportunity to young people like myself because without it, I wouldn't have ever touched opera probably and I never would have touched theatre. Thank you all for coming this evening and enjoy the very, very song. <coughs> Why do you sing this very, very song? They say it's such a curious thing, this very, very song. There's a sadness, but there isn't. There's a longing, but there's not. There's a loneliness of only other things that I forgot. They say, why do you sing this very, very song? Such a curious thing, this very, very song. I wouldn't ask the question if I knew the answer well. But I tell you 